Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here. It's Friday, May the or May June fourth. Overcast, seventy degrees. Very muggy. It's going up to like 80, 79. I think it's supposed to rain throughout the day. Kind of a pea soupy type of day. Yuck. Um, I guess you guys missed me yesterday. Ha ha. No, um, I, uh, I had to pick up a customer's car <clears throat> on the way into work yesterday. Um, actually, the old, my old boss, the old owner of my shop, which I, which I own now, he, uh, he can be a pain in my butt, but he's done a lot for me, so I, I help him out. I had to go pick up a car he's interested in buying, drop my truck off, pick that car up, drive that car into work, check over the car, make sure it's good for purchasing, and then, uh, get a detail, drop it off my buddy at the uh, shop around the corner from me, the details, and then, uh, a buddy of mine picked me up, and, uh, we went down to, uh, <clears throat> Delaware County Field and Stream, um, signing up for membership there, we shot some 22 long rifle, which was fun, um, having a, you know, iron sight. 50 yards, a bunch of targets and little metal targets and birds and all kinds of cool stuff. It was fun, real enjoyable. <clears throat> I just love shooting stuff. I'm pretty, pretty good at it. So I did that. So today I'm in my truck and I don't have anybody's car to pick up. So I didn't want to smoke, you know, smoke a pipe and take a video in, in that car because it wasn't mine. <laughs> So today, I am smoking, <clears throat> excuse me, my, <clears throat> excuse me, Costello, uh, slightly bent billiard, natural virgin, KK, C-Rock, you've seen this before, one of my uh, two slightly bent billiards. From Costello, I have this one, and then I have one in a black uh, old antiquary. Great, great smoke pipes. And in it today, following up the uh, the Marlin Flake. I am smoking some uh, ooh, Howl of the Wind, which is a Virginia with a little bit of Kentucky and a little bit of Perique. It is fantastic. Um, I forgot how good it was honestly I haven't smoked it in quite some time the jar that I have it's almost full it's from 19 yeah the 100 gram jars that they have tins that they have so it's got a couple years of age on it but I'll tell you what this is uh this is really good. That that little bit of Kentucky and that that little bit of Perique with like the tangy red Virginia. Oh man, it's really it's really delicious. You know, and the the thing I love about it the most is that you know up front it's it's mostly the, the Virginia red Virginias, but there's just like the perfect amount of of Kentucky and then a little bit of Perique. It's so good. 
kind of reminds me of the director's cut. It's got that same flavor profile of the HU director's cut, which is a similar, you know, Virginia, Kentucky, Perique. It tastes a lot like that, except the director's cut is a little sweeter. I think it has like either, you know, more bright Virginia or there's like a, a topping or something. It's really good. It's just delicious. And the thing I like about this as well is um, it burns really well. Like this is I guess you would clay it's like a broken flake, but it's very, very finely broken. Almost like a ribbon cut, but it's not. It's just like a super, super what I like to call like a minced flake. Very thin, very easy to pack and break apart. It burns it burns really good. really enjoy it. I, I'm going to be smoking a lot more of this. I forgot how good it was. Um, and then I have, I have Brown Clooney. And I think those are like the three. They're, those are like the big three. As far as I'm concerned. I've never had Wallace Flake. Um, there's another one of their like just Virginia blends. Yeah, but you get, I mean, plumes of smoke. It burns to like a really fine white ash. I mean, I, I've only been smoking this for five or six minutes and it's, it's already got like a nice fine white ash on top. <laughs> and it, it doesn't bite no matter how hard you, how hard you puff it. So if you like Marlin Flake or Brown Clooney or any of them, any of the Ratch Race blends. This is you'll love this if you haven't had it. Mm. So I hope you guys are uh, had a good week. It's Friday, thank God. Tomorrow is Saturday. Gonna go shoot some uh, shoot some archery tomorrow. <clears throat> Just looking forward to. It sucks I can't really shoot at my house because I don't have enough room to shoot anywhere. So I only get to shoot on the weekends. But I'm gonna. That's why I'm hopefully joining an archery club or two because they have facilities you can go to seven days a week, you know, rain or shine, indoor, outdoor, field targets, 3D targets, indoor targets, all that, all that good stuff. I'll tell you what, it's been a while since I shot a, um, a 22 like bolt action long rifle. So much fun. They, uh, the, and the gun I shot was my buddy's gun. It's from like the 60s. Yeah, you know, like a muzzle load. Um, just really cool. Just uh, so much fun to, to, to shoot them. Um, actually, funny enough, this is the. So I haven't shot one in years. I actually have my. I gotta have my target in my back. This was the. The first grouping that I shot, right, like, right out of the, I don't know if you can see that, right out of the gate from, I think it's 50 yards, maybe, 100 yards, I forget, but not bad, I was really happy with that, now I haven't shot 
you know, a long rifle only a couple times, and that being the first time I shot in you know, probably 10 years. <laughs> they had these, um, these really, they have like a lot of these small metal targets. They have like bigger birds, and they have these tiny little birds that are like literally maybe that big. And from, yeah, from 50 yards, um, they're really tiny. You know, I was plinking them. They have um, some like bowling pins that you you hit, you knock down, and they pop back up. They have like the the swinging plates that swing from one side to the to the other. You shoot them, shoot them back. Uh, it was fun. I, I I took down five in a row. That that's all you can load there at the at that range is you know five at a time. Um, so you know once I got into a groove. I was just mowing them down. It's so much fun. You don't need a high caliber, you know, rifle to, to have fun. They have an air uh, an air rifle range. They have um, the rim fire. They have, you know, and then the other ranges for everything else, you know, high powered rifles and AKs and shot. Then they have skeet table. They have table, trap, skeet, um, all that stuff, which which I haven't done yet, which I think we're gonna, go, my, my buddy, we're gonna go back on Sunday, I think, and scoot, shoot some skeet and some trap, and do some archery. So I've never shot any of that stuff, um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. I'm, I'm pretty accurate. I um, with a handgun, I've I've always been super accurate. I like it, and I'll, I never really had guns, but like I would go to the gun range with my buddies that shot. And, you know, I'd have a really tight grouping, be putting, you know, bullet holes through bullet holes, and they're, like, all over the place. They're like, what the hell, man? I've been shooting for, like, five years, and you come up, you've never shot before, and you're shooting tight groupings. You know, I, I, I just, I, I, I guess I just have a good eye. Um, so I'm pretty, uh, I'm really good at shooting stuff. Like, when I went and shot the um, compound bow for the first time, my groupings were, like, super... Yeah, the, the the lady that was giving me a lesson was like, you've never shot an arrow before? And I was like, I shot recurve a couple times, like, for the, like the last two weeks for a half hour at a time. She's like, that's pretty impressive. And then the guy that tuned the bow was like, um, yeah, there's people that have been shooting for years that, that don't, don't have groupings like that. So you just must have a natural eye. I was like, sweet. So, yeah, I enjoy shooting things, and apparently I'm not, not half bad at it, which is awesome. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, shooting some shotguns and skeet and trap and stuff. Ugh. Excuse me. Anyway, we're kind of rambling. So, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, hopefully, I think the weather's supposed to be decent. I haven't even checked. See what we got here. Where are we at? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's just gonna be 90 and sunny tomorrow. 91 and sunny on Sunday. 91 and sunny on Monday. And then, yeah, it's gonna be a little mini heat wave, I guess, for a few days. Which is better than rainy and muggy. Anyway, guys, have a great weekend. Um, rat rays, rat trays howl the wind i've heard some people say how how the wind i think it's wind um really good virginia kentucky perique hope you guys have a great weekend be safe and remember the left lane is for passing see you on the next one guys take care